Hey guys, it's Jedi Fife. I am making a video of my updated uh, prop room slash collectibles slash office. Um, I work from home, so this is my office, my daily office. But it's also where I create things and uh, collect things. So I hope you enjoy it. I haven't made a video in a couple of years, so I thought I'd share with you what I have. So starting at the door, this is where I keep a lot of my hats, but not all of them. And a lot of my um, WonderCon, Comic-Con, uh, gosh, Kamikaze badges. I've collected them all since I ever started going to conventions. I'm gonna see if I can turn this around. Starting over here, the front door of my office, I have a lot of hats. I love hats. I uh, don't know where that came from, but I don't collect t-shirts, so maybe that's it. But I have my RPF, I have a Seahawks, Gryffindor, another Seahawks, Indiana Jones. I have probably like 40 or 50 hats. I love, love hats. Maybe it's because they can go and fall, I don't know. Um, this are, these are my collection of badges from Comic-Con. Uh, WonderCon, um, Seahawks games, and um, gosh, I mean, you name it, I have it. it. It's my collection of badges that I've had. As you enter, you have uh, Back to the Future items. And then I haven't hung that up yet. That's the um, Indiana Jones <clears throat> tablet. So, as you move this way, you have my fedora, which is one of my pride and joys. It's a great fedora. It is from, I think, a Kubra. The Kubra fedora. Uh, if you don't know who they are, they were one of the makers of Indiana Jones hats a long time ago. My Han Solo and Carbonite that I made myself. Now, I had the front casting of this for about four years and it was wasting away in my backyard. And one day I said, I have to build this. So I went out and I found uh, a friend of mine who made the shell or the um, frame for all these. You can see it's missing some panels that I still have to cast out. And, uh, but he made the frame, it's a, it was a kit. I have photos of it. Um, I had to weather it and paint it and glue it and it was about a week long process, but um, It's one of my favorite props. I always wanted that Moving this way. This is the Thunder Road from Explorers. This is a 1-6 scale prop that I built myself using no plans whatsoever and I just made it out of styrene and aluminum can, a tire from a 1-6 scale car, the corrugated, uh, it's corrugated aluminum that I built, and it's all supposed to be, if you have never seen Explorers, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a great 80s film. I also have a bunch of Iron Man uh, memorabilia. It's one of my favorite newer movies. I'm more of an 80s collector, but this movie really spoke to me. I thought it was a great film, and I loved the story behind Tony Stark. So I collected some of the helmets, and his eyes light up, and I this was this is actually a kit of the helmet in, interior that I had to put together. Um, sorry, it's not coming out so well. Then uh, War Machine's helmet, and those eyes light up red. But then there's also these plans that are about four sheets of paper stacked together. And if you hold them in the correct lighting, then they will put the whole suit together. The Galmera photos. These I actually put together myself, as well as the newspaper and the magazine covers. I did all those myself in Photoshop. Um, matter of fact, most of these that I sold when I first made them, paid 
there for all of my props. This, I actually, this is my wife's uh, license plate to her Prius several years ago, about, obviously back about 2010. Um, and I got that right after episode, or uh, sorry, Iron Man 2 came out. I went on the DMV and I bought it and I actually got it. That was actually his license plate to the car he had. But these are two prop replicas um, that, that goes towards the Explorers um, movie. The Rolling Stone I made myself. These are some Iron Man props. You can see Tony Stark, uh, Stork, <laughs> Tony Stark, Apogee Award. Most of these are replicas. Some are real. Then the going into the Goonies, one of my favorite '80s movies. Um, I made the uh, newspaper in the back. Again, one of those things that I make and people buy and I take that money and I buy other props. But the doubloon, the uh, eye patch to One-Eye Willie, the map, a miniature of One-Eye Willie, the license plate from the ORV, copper bones. Now, I'm gonna get some flack from this, but I love the National Treasure movies. So this is my National Treasure 1 and my National Treasure 2. I'm sorry this is coming out so dark. Let me try to turn up the lights real quick. Hope that helps a little bit. National Treasure, the Marshawn, uh, the, I think it's a Marshawn pipe, I think it's called. Anyways, um, glasses, his hero Rolex that he used when he dove into the uh, Potomac, I think it is, or the, God, what is it? What did he dive into? Anyways, um, the uh, medallion, some things I created, like the badge back there. Again, some of these things I just made up and I sold and people bought them and I would take that money and buy something else. Uh, National Treasure 2, this is the Book of Secrets. It's an amazing prop. I wish you could see what's in it, especially on page 42, 47 rather. Um, this, there's the planks, the Indian planks, um, several things, Booth Diary, it's pretty cool. I do have one real prop and you can kind of see it on this side, but it is a license plate and it says Abigail Abigail Chase. That's her license plate from episode or uh, National Treasure 2. Um, I also have the National Treasure 2 uh, or National Treasure the, the, uh, where they put the map in. All right, so moving on. This is where I store a lot of my. Uh, things I don't have, such as my vintage action figures, I have them all stored in here. Um, bins of things, uh, another Nike mag, and things I can't show some things. So, uh, you saw something over there, it was a golden statue. Um, anyways, there's things in there that I, I have. So... Over here, I have a couple posters, the Star Wars, the uh, Flynn's, uh, Flynn's uh, Space Paranoid poster from Tron. Then you get into my Stormtrooper outfit. I've worn this a few times. It's very confining and uh, not very comfortable, but pretty cool for display. My Die Hard vest. And um, his uh, holster rig, the Die Hard collection. Let me open this up so you can kind of see a little bit better. But this is his uh, wallet, credit cards, badge, gun, tape, bare bond. 
get into my Indiana Jones, the Cup of Christ, the um, Golden Idol. So this is not the Sideshow Idol. This is actually cast off an original idol. It's called a Gobbler Idol. It was made about, gosh, about eight or nine years ago. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous idol. Back metalized, and there's only about 30 in production that we know of. A lot of them uh, had many issues with bubbling and degassing, so this is one of my pride and joys, and I set it down very carefully. Other than that, there's the Cross of Coronado, the two versions of the Raven Bar um, headpiece of Staff of Ra. The um, diary. So this sandbag that is identical to the one he used in Raiders of the Lost Ark actually has or contains Kauai sand is where they filmed the movie and I put Kauai sand in there when I went to Kauai back in 2006 or 2007. This is my Rocky collection. Uh, that is actually signed by Sylvester Stallone, which I met him at a screening. It was the Arclight screening of Rocky. I bought the the pair of, of boxing gloves, and as he was leaving the theater, I got him down and got him to sign those pairs, myself, or that myself. This one I bought from a friend, and the signature is almost identical, so I am fairly certain these are authentic, authentically signed Everlast gloves. I've never seen another American pair like that. This is the uh, Romance in the Stone shelf with the emerald and the map. And those are um, scanned off of my original prop replica book covers that I have. Going up to my Out of Time and Back to the Future collection. The license plate, the comic book, and the clock tower um, flyer. Now, my Vader. All right, so I bought this Vader for 500 bucks and got a mannequin to stand him on. It is a Ruby's, uh, what do they call them? The Ruby's Vader. Anyway, I bought it for my son's birthday and got a great deal because it got the costume, the boots, um, and a lightsaber for 500 bucks. And I had already had a mannequin, so I put him on the mannequin, and you can see it's pretty cool. I'm going to be, actually, I have some lights ordered that will be the exact same as this. So they're going to be here in the next day or so. All right, so... Flux capacitor, which is a diamond select. This hat is a Mirage uh, hat. It's as close as the original hat as you can get. I've seen the original in person, and it is very, very close. The original had green stitching, just as this does. So these go for a couple hundred bucks just for that hat, but this version is actually the closest, as is the hoverboard with lenticular that's why it's in plastic. There's only about eight of those made. That's actually my first prop that I ever made, which is Griff's extending bat. I made it out of PVC and had uh, just put some, you know, screws in it. But I held this one next to the original and it's pretty darn close. It's off by about an inch on the length and the width and the girth is a little bit off should be a little bit fatter my Nike mag knockoffs so I had the original Nike mags I sold them for six thousand dollars and I bought these replicas for four hundred and fifty dollars and they are 99% accurate they're amazing down to every detail you can look at my other uh, videos and you'll see that these are virtually identical 95 to 99 percent accurate so i love them my back to the future one display the correct pcm toshiba 
uh, I'm sorry, not Toshiba, Futaba um, remote. I made the Cadillac myself with a correct pencil and hook, the uh, plutonium canister, the match made in space, which is identical, DeLorean keys, Back to the Future 2. These are uh, cast, these, the slice, the Pepsi, and the Pepsi, Diet Pepsi are all cast off of um, screen used bottles. The Pepsi Perfect is a, is a resin cast and it's a little, a little bit smaller than what should be. The Ooh La La is, is a scan from the original, it actually has the original pages, so do the Almanac. The pet, uh, Pizza Hut, um, the one that's flat is uh, identical to the original, that's a little bit smaller. I made the glasses and they've been used in um, various YouTube videos. Biff's, Kane, and Marty McFly's uh, seniors, uh, his, uh, his watch. Now, going down into Ghostbusters, let me open the cabinet real quick. Going on Ghostbusters, the, um, the you know, infrared goggles, the ghost trap, the walkie talkie Venkman patch, and the uh, PKE meter, which are those that the PKE meter and that are from Maddie Collectibles. This is from some other, I think it's Hotshot um, who made these. They're more accurate than the ones from. Uh, uh, from Maddie Collectors. And then two sabers we can barely see, which is a Obi-Wan and a Luke Jedi. Alright. Coming up here, another Ruby's helmet. Now my collection of vintage figures. All 12 of the originals going into Empire Strikes Back going into Return of the Jedi. Um, laser tag from the vintage 80s. Some of my carded collectibles, but I have about 120 vintage carded, mint on card collectibles, unpunched and or at least C8. My Inspector Gadget figure that I had when I was a kid in mint in box. And my Indiana Jones collection, which I have pretty much everything except for the truck and Marion. I'm just, I'm actually bidding on a couple right now. That's actually a replica Boba Fett. But it is darn, darn good. And it even has the rocket firing mechanism in the back. So I think it's quite cool that I, that I have that. So... This is my Boba Fett helmet, though not truly accurate. It is signed both by Daniel Logan and by Jeremy Bullock, the two actors who played Boba Fett, both young and old. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, my Proton pack that I built is a Venkman 71 pack, uh, fiberglass shell, aluminum motherboard, um, I do need to add the electronics, but I built this myself. It was in the same couple weeks that I had off to build the uh, Han Solo and Carbonite, but it is uh, built and weathered and it is a sturdy, sturdy prop. Um, once I have the sounds in it, it'll be cool just to come over here and flick a switch and have it go. <laughs> The USA Today, which is one of the released ones of the year. Um, I also have a gang jailed version, but it's a more exclusive version. So I just like to hold on to that one. I have a few copies of that. And then coming to America, the money he has his own money. Those are replica bills, but then real coins. I have several of those that are gold coins from the movie. Moving over here, these are my cutouts from Ollie Moss that I did myself. Those are all 
truly cut out by hand and um, uh, exacto knife. That's pretty much all myself. Uh, the signature Leia blaster on solo blaster. The Jurassic Park props. Now, all of these are replicas except from the cell. That cell was truly used in Jurassic Park. And I actually have the sketch behind it and found it in the movie. So it's pretty cool. This is where I work and play. So I have my Xbox One. Um, I'm actually going to re be replacing this screen, which is a 24. Five inch screen with about a 42 inch screen uh, TV I'm gonna put it right here so maybe do like 32 inch just because it might not fit but parts for uh, repairing air mags toys and such and video games and my Flynn Tron lamp if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just go watch Tron, the original Tron. My night vision goggles, which are amazing from Rilo on the RPF. They're the only ones of its kind. Well, I mean, you know, give me like 10 pairs, but that's about it. So that's about it. Oh, I'm, I did miss my um, one six scale DeLorean from Sideshow down here. It's pretty amazing. Oops, sorry. It's a pretty an awesome thing. I've always wanted a 1-6 scale DeLorean. I've always wanted a 1 scale DeLorean, but I haven't had. Then I also have my um, Stormtrooper Blaster, the Luke Empire Strikes Back Blaster, and Empire Lightsaber. You can barely see it down here which is the Rebel Trooper, I'm sorry, this is the uh, Han Solo blaster from Empire Strikes Back. My Rebel Trooper blaster from A New Hope. And then just some collectibles here. But then the uh, Jedi training remote from Master, Master Replicas. These two are pretty amazing. These are my Luke Skywalker uh, lightsabers, or lightsaber, that is signed by Mark Hamill and George Lucas and my uh, Darth Vader A New Hope uh, saber that is signed by Dave Prowse and George Lucas. I got to meet George Lucas back in 2007 at a uh, the Director's Guild and he signed both of those sabers. I had one friend of mine take one of them and I took the other one and I was like, just if you can get him to sign it, great. Here's a here's a pen, have him sign it. He did. That I met Dave Prowse later on and had him sign my Vader. Then years later, actually just in celebration, uh, Los Angeles Star Wars one, I had um, uh, Mark Hamill sign my sign that. So, anyways, I don't think this is going to get loaded up to YouTube or not, but this is my prop room slash vintage figure room. Hope you enjoy. Hope it helps understanding where everything is. All right. So there you go. Have a great afternoon.